for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Shoes as always. Got an update video for you guys today. If you guys don't know, an update just dropped for Madden 22, and this is probably going to be the last one of the year. But there was a lot of major changes, a lot of gameplay changes, franchise updates, and things like that, which I'll get into in a moment. But as always, if you guys want me to continue with these updates, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I'll continue to try to put them out as they happen. Now, I'm going to start off with gameplay updates, and I'm going to start off with one of the maybe smaller ones, although it's not necessarily small to someone like me because. I make a lot of videos out of practice mode and that's the coaching adjustments and coverage depth adjustments have returned to practice mode if you're on current gen consoles which in the past and I, I know this because I had to make a video on last gen this year when I made a video about it uh, it was only on current gen consoles now it's on current gen and next gen uh, which is nice so if you like to you know go in the lab and practice new defenses or if you like to go in the lab and practice um, you know certain offensive plays against people like to set their zone drop adjustments to certain depths you can do that now on next gen which is nice because i know a lot of people run a lot of times the same defense a lot of times they run the same zone coverage adjustments and stuff like that so it's nice to be able to uh, have a realistic practice scenario or practice setup where you can try to attack those offenses or defenses uh, and now you can do that so if you're on next gen coaching adjustments and coverage depths are back in practice mode which to me is a big help now there aren't a lot of gameplay updates after that with the exception of a lot of rpos that they're still trying to patch individual rpo plays that people were still working one of which i actually put out early in the year but i stopped using once they they patched um the the ability to kind of toss a play uh, I, I don't know if you guys remember that but it's a play out of the single back bunch te formation where you could uh flip the play and then you could like flip the pass out to um to the bubble screen uh they fixed that you couldn't flip the pass anymore they fixed that a, a while ago now it seems like they they flipped the ability to, to flip the stretch play all together which kind of sucks also because it was still a really good run play even without that flip so and i did i did see some people were still using it and still making videos about it even after they patched it the first time so i guess it was still an issue so basically um if you were using the single back bunch te formation stretch rpo and flipping the play i don't think it'll do that anymore so uh you know that was like i said that was that was one of the it was still a pretty good play there's a lot of other ones based around rpo uh plays rpo glitches i like the uh, the gun wing slot weak apparently if you're using the rpo power alert glance you could still break away from the handoff with the quarterback and run uh which is you know basically what the rpo glitch is they fixed that apparently it was also an issue with the triple option play of the gun split slot open that they fixed where um, it wasn't functioning properly when it comes to the handoffs uh, so that's something I mean a lot of these plays unless you were specifically running these plays you're probably not going to know what I was talking about there was also some sort of issue when it came to RPO zone peak plays where block sheds were happening faster I guess they resolved that that was more of a defensive thing than an offensive thing uh, all these things I mean they're still trying to figure out RPOs RPOs were introduced into the game maybe like three or four years ago and they're still trying to figure that out I think a lot of that stuff it's really more on current gen consoles than anything uh but let's go ahead and let's get to the franchise updates because i think that's really the thing that people are going to be uh most um you know wanting to hear about because that's something that definitely had the most um, you know people complaining that there wasn't more franchise updates we didn't get the franchise update or at least it doesn't say here anything about the franchise update when it comes to scouting i did see something about it but it seems like that's probably gonna have to wait until uh next madden because i don't think that there's going to be another update but there is no update when it comes to scouting but there's also a couple of issues that they fixed like the fifth year option scenario where apparently that was not triggering uh in the off season i guess that's a fifth year option on a contract it wasn't triggering wasn't triggering the option to do that um, they also fixed an issue with crisis in confidence scenario that would not uh, award staff points upon completion uh and then that's pretty much it for the for the things that they fixed now when it comes to the new ones the new trends boost scenario gives you a chance to help improve your entire offensive line by building off either a strong rushing or passing performance the tier based reward will compensate you based on your success in the following game and give you the opportunity to immediately beat up your offensive front to either clear lanes for your running back or keep your franchise quarterback jerseys clean. So that sounds like something that uh, is definitely beneficial. And I like how you can boost your entire offensive line too. And it's based off of whatever you want. You can base it off of whether you're a running player or a passing player. That one looks like it's going to be pretty popular. There's also one called the QB Duel. The QB Duel scenario starts during the regular season when two of 
the league's best signal callers face off. As a coach, you'll be faced with the choice of calling your own elite quarterback to have a huge game that leads you to victory or challenging your defense to step up to the plate and shut down one of the league's best signal callers. That one there doesn't necessarily go over the benefit the same way the previous one does, but I do kind of get when, you know, it's, it's like when Aaron Rodgers faces Tom Brady or something like that in a game. Uh, obviously, there's uh, a lot of hype around it. So I like that they're trying to basically uh, accentuate that uh, because that's a real life thing. I mean, anytime you see two big time quarterbacks go at it, like, you know, maybe they came up with that after Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes' great playoff performance. I don't really know. But ultimately, that's something that we see a lot in the league, and it's like, it's nice that they're trying to highlight it. I don't necessarily know what that means, though. That's the thing. They really go into that too much. A lot of these don't really say um, how these scenarios are going to play out. I guess you just have to play them. The next one is the movable object. Now, this says it's a mid-to-late season scenario where your matchup includes uh, facing one of the league's staunchest defenses. So basically, I guess you have to be in a certain tier of defense. I don't know, maybe a top five defense doesn't really say. But apparently, you have to um, be a high enough rated defense late enough in the season for this to trigger and it's it's known as a movable object so it's really asking how do you attack them do you try to run right through them do you try to you know throw it over them uh but apparently i'm guessing if you have a top five defense at this point or whatever it is i don't know what the what the standard is because it doesn't say but i'm guessing that if you trigger this and you have a good enough defense that your defense is probably going to play better but it doesn't really say that um so ultimately once again it just kind of talks about the scenario it doesn't really talk about how it plays out um but without a doubt it says you know he just asks a lot of questions it says how are you going to attack them through the air through the ground or do you enter it says do you enter the arena with the attitude to win by any means necessary question mark i have no idea what that means uh but these are interesting looking scenarios if you play franchise mode um there's definitely some interesting looking ones on here and some good additions next up we have under siege now after dealing with a barrage of sacks in the middle of the season you'll be forced as a coach to blame either your offensive line for not holding uh holding up or your quarterback uh, me personally, I'm always going to, I would have to, I don't even know. I got to probably blame the offensive line. I'm not going to blame my quarterback, uh, based off the fact that uh, to me, quarterbacks are more important, but that's just me. Um, uh, because I think that the backlash on the quarterback could be worse for not getting the ball out quick enough. Following that decision, you'll be tasked with how to approach the following game, which can include staying the course, shifting to the run, or extra preparation heading into the game. Depending on your choice and success in the next game, your offense and offensive line can receive the boost they need to bounce back and right the ship. So that's something, you know, that's, these are, a lot of these scenarios are really, um, really common scenarios. So I, I like, uh, I like the, the, I might have to start playing more franchise mode based off of some of the stuff I'm reading, because this is definitely interesting, uh, and I haven't spent a, t a ton of time doing that. Maybe that's something I'll do more in the off season, and maybe by next Madden season, I'll be more prepared. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see me do that. Next up, we got QB breakouts, but this deals with a dev trade, especially, you know, that's especially important when it comes to a quarterback. So this is definitely huge. So we've updated the quarterback breakouts with modular cinematics and similar to our other breakout scenarios in the week following a standout performance by your quarterback he'll be given a set of goals that he must accomplish to increase his dev trait if you get this if you trigger this you got to get that because dev traits are super important when it comes to uh upgrading players especially when it comes to your quarterback it says these goals will scale by dev trait meaning upgrading a player from normal to star will be easier than upgrading a player from star to superstar superstar to x factor now if you already have an x factor quarterback apparently you can do the exact same thing you're just going to be trying to get a huge chunk of xp which is just as valuable i don't know what they mean by a huge chunk it doesn't really say but hopefully it's enough um you know that that makes you uh, upgrade your quarterback really quickly so that's really cool uh, ultimately quarterbacks it's, it sucks that they wait till the end of the year because that's something that um from the sounds of it was available in other positions uh and it's obviously um something that can be helpful hopefully it'll carry over to man 23 and it's available the second that the game drops because that can be very helpful uh in franchise mode now when it comes to the franchise mode updates also you don't have to reset uh your franchise mode which is something that um sometimes in the past whenever they added stuff or updated stuff you need to do that's not something you have to do here it says that this will be available in new files and old files so you don't have to update your franchise mode which is something i'm sure a lot of people are going to be, going to be asking right now the last update uh and this one here um really only has to deal with nfl live playbooks which i'm guessing 
Um, you know, if you're in a franchise mode where you have to use, uh, uh, I'm not sure how many people use live playbooks because we don't have the ability to use them in MUT. Um, if you're in a franchise where you have to use a team playbook, I can see how a live playbook would be helpful. Uh, and I don't know if, if people play, you know, online mode, uh, head to head, uh, regs, I think a lot of people probably just use custom playbooks. But ultimately, if you use live playbooks, there's a lot of updates. And I'm going to go over them now. The biggest one, without a doubt, is the Giants. I'll go from big, biggest to smallest. The Giants added single back doubles off close, single back wide trips, iPhone Pro, iPhone Z Pro close, iPhone slot, iPhone tight, strong Z close, weak pro, gun split slot, gun normal Y off, gun normal Y off weak, uh, gun Y off X close, and gun trips TE. I don't know if that's based off of the new coach that they have. Um, I'm going to, I don't know. I, I don't know if they're doing that, if they're jumping the gun on that. I don't know if next year, you know, I don't know if they do that. Like one year's live playbooks is next year's actual playbooks. So they're just jump, jumping the gun. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of additions there. Um, the Bengals probably had the second most. And the Bengals is one of my favorite playbooks, to be honest with you. It's one of the better sleeper playbooks, especially when it comes to single back. Uh, they add a lot of single back stuff. They added single back wing pair, which is a staple. Single back wing tight Z, single back wide deep trips, uh, gun split slot, gun spread wide flex. I mean, they really added a lot of good formations there. Uh, other than that, every other playbook is pretty much the same. I'd say the Lions did a pretty big update here too. Single back wing tight U, strong Z close. Gun Bunch TE, which is obviously a, a favorite, and then the Gun Tray Open. Uh, some of the lesser ones, like the Rams, only added one formation, but it's one of my favorites. I just dropped a video about it. The Gun Trips Halfback Week was added to the Rams. I, I hope it has the same plays that I put out from the Bills and from the um, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, that that's a really good formation with some really glitchy plays. Uh, the Cowboys added one. They added the Full House Normal Wide. I never I can't say I've ever noticed them running that formation, but these are supposed to be based off reality. The Bills added uh, Deuce Close. I use the Bills a little bit more and more now. The Deuce Close, the Doubles Off Close, and the Week Pro. That's a pretty good one. Uh, the Packers add the I-Form Slot, Week Z Close, Gun Split Close, Pro, Doubles, and Spread Wide Flex. And I think last but not least is the Bears and the Niners. The Niners will save for last. All the, all the Niners really did was they updated the single back these close and gun split close pro to the Debo package. So I guess they just changed the name. Is that what, is that, what that is? So that you, put, you can put Debo Samuel, um, which I think you could already do, put him at running back, considering he runs that a lot. Uh, and then, like I said, the Bears added uh, iPhone Z close, iPhone slot, strong close, gun split close pro. So definitely a lot of additions uh, to some of the uh, to the playbooks for sure. Uh, like I said, the Giants looks like brand new. Uh, just one thing that stands out from the Giants is the gun normal Y off week. I think that's a formation I use quite a bit, but I can't really say because uh, it doesn't stand out. But there's definitely a lot of additions. So if you if you use regular playbooks, check out the live playbooks because there's a lot of really new uh, additions to those. So I'm gonna get them and the video there uh like i said if you guys want to see more update videos you want to see more commentary on updates as they happen let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man Boy, shit out need more help or just want to share your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below